Hi everyone, welcome to XM I get right. Today we are doing the consolidate. What is the consolidate? Why we use consolidate in Excel? Consolidate feature feature to consolidate the worksheet located into workbook or multiple workbooks into one worksheet. So let's suppose you have multiple worksheet. If you want to consolidate that particular one sheet, worksheet, then you can choose the consolidate feature. So let's suppose I have example. Okay. Uh, so let's suppose I have example of uh, we have 2017, 2018, and 2019 some sales uh, according to quarter wise. Okay. According to quarters. So first let's suppose Amazon quarter one they have done these months here. Quarter two uh, in these five to nine, then quarter three, and then quarter four. Okay. Same flip card. 18 and the green. Okay, it's a 2017 2008. We have also same say, uh, same from platform names and the sales quarter wise. Okay, so it's going increase, decrease according to the uh, product selling. Okay, so now it's a uh, third. Okay, so uh, what I need, I need to consolidate this Amazon sale of quarter one. In 2017, 2018, and 2019, into the one worksheet. Okay, this is my consolidation window. Okay, so how we can consolidate? So we have one feature in Excel in the data tab after we have a consolidate. Okay, so we have uh, around 11 feature of same like the pivot table, some counting if you want to count. You can count average, maximum, uh, and the minimum number. Which what is the maximum sale number for the Amazon? Okay, minimum product count number, standard deviation, standard deviation uh, product, word and word P. Now we are using the sum because uh, I want the uh, sum of my all years. Okay, I will keep to see sum. Then uh, let's try this. So I'm deleting the old one. Now my consolidate uh, is a clear. Okay, in the reference, what is the reference? Reference is your data, raw data. So my first data is this one. Okay, up from name to all the data. You can also press the Control A for selection. Okay, then after and okay, browse is uh, which is when working when you are using the external file. Okay. If you have external workbook uh, you have, then you can also consolidate with the browse. Okay, same now you have to do it. Okay, next is my uh, second data in 2018. Now, see here they automatically selecting the 2018 data. Now, my range is A1 to A5. Okay, and add after 2019. Now, my 2019 sale is added. Okay, now if you have uh, the use label in. So uh, yes, my label in uh, my label name Q1 Q2 is in the so selected uh, top row left column. Okay, I'm not getting uh, the link source data. I'm using the first normal. Okay, now see here my data is consolidated. Okay, now quarter one sale is one nine nine six eight. Quarter two sale is this one. Quarter three and quarter four. See here we don't have any plus and the sum function. Okay, they only consolidate according to your data. Okay. Next, next I'm saying I uh, I'm looking for the consolidation. Now I'm using the link uh link data link of source data. So what is a data link source data? Let's suppose your data will be changing in the future. Okay. Then we are using the print uh, print links uh, to source data. If you uh, uh, the previous data, let's suppose uh, right now we have the total green one zero six seven four. Now you have to change five thousand. Now see here because this is a dynamic. It's a dynamic. Now my data also changed. Okay, so this is a time. Uh, Consolidation because your uh, data is consolidated according to the 
reference. Now see here we have the reference of 2017 uh, Excel. So uh, this is.